Ian Ellis was watching for birds at the Frampton Marsh Nature Preserve in Lincolnshire, England. When he spots something unusual through his scope, the cattle gathered in cozy circle around it and got so close they looked like they were hugging. Concerned that some kind of living thing was in danger, the stranger went closer. What he saw in the center of the circle of cows, however, shocked him completely. Aside from the curious cows, she was surrounded by a muddy field and was in rough shape. She was going to need a lot of help if there was any hope of returning her to her proper home. Ian Ellis was bird watching when he happened upon this strange sight. A group of cows had their attention fixated on something small in the middle of a muddy pasture. Ian Ellis realized all too quickly that this baby animal most certainly did not belong there. It was a stranded baby seal. Ian rushed over to the animal to investigate. It was clear that she was suffering and completely exhausted. And it made sense after all the ocean was three miles away. How could she have gotten this far? Ian knew that he was going to have to do more than simply carry her back to the ocean several miles away. Rescuers quickly arrived on the scene and helped pull the baby seal out of the muddy marsh. They then brought her to the nearby Skegness Nature Land Seal Sanctuary, where she was treated for a dehydration and a lung infection. Not only that, but she was also severely malnourished, much to the staff of the rescue's great surprise. The little seal responded incredibly well to the treatment. She was quickly gaining back the weight she had lost, and she was showing lots of spirit. She even made a new friend named Charlie. After she spent some time in recovery at the Animal Rescue Center, the SEAL's rescuers determined that she was finally well enough to be returned to the wild. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. It was clear that all she needed from the get-go was to be properly fed and taken care of. Not wanting her to be released back into the wild all by herself, the Sanctuary's team brought both her and Charlie to the ocean and decided that it would be best to release them together. After all, everyone could use a friend when they make a big move like this. The SEAL Sanctuary staff was sure to document the momentous occasion too. You can see how much bigger she'd grown since she was first discovered. Knowing that she was stronger and healthy helped to offer a hopeful glimpse of the future that lay ahead for the once malnourished baby SEAL. The team was nervous for a reason, as it turns out, Seals have recently experienced a resurgence in their population after having been on the endangered species list for a number of years. While it was certainly great news that these animals are making a comeback, it could also lead to other problems. The repopulation of wild seals, while great for the seals themselves, often results in a decrease in the amount of food available. And even though researchers were aware of this problem, it wasn't until a recent encounter with a seal named Pipster gave them an even more clear idea of how out of control the issue is. Like the baby seal who was discovered by the cows, Pipster was extremely malnourished and dehydrated when rescuers first discovered him. They took him into the sanctuary to help him recover where he began to heal quickly. And just like the baby seal, they were able to release Pipster back into the wild shortly after his rescue. Not long after his release, however, Pipster was discovered again, and this time he was in a rather awkward spot hungry and exhausted, and in a bush on the side of an extremely busy freeway. What a sweet ending for the first seal, and it's nice to see that Pipster was also getting the help he so desperately needed. It's heartwarming to think about these adorable seals playing in the wild as free, happy, and healthy animals. Though Celebration had quite the journey, she is finally back in the ocean where she belongs. The Skegness Natural and Seal Sanctuary did a great thing by taking in this poor little seal and giving her the care she needed. There was a tragedy in the forest, and no one knows what would have happened if our team hadn't intervened. Thankful that Celebration made it back home safe and even met a new friend along the way.